pump this shit like cardio What's up guys, today we're going through more transitions and effects from this edit. To start off with, we have this invisible glitch effect. So the first thing you need to do is remove the subject from the video. And if you watched my previous video, then you'll know how to do this. So first let's click on the wand tool here and go to add magnetic mask. This feature is only on the new Final Cut Pro version 11. If you don't have this, then you will need to update. So select that and now let's click on our subject to create the mask. Now let's click analyze up here. So now this is going to track the mask and this is really quick now on the new update. So now let's click done up here and we need to keep this layer, but for now let's copy and paste. So hold down option and just click and drag up. And on this top layer, let's just disable it by pressing V. And on this bottom layer, let's go to the mask tool up here and click invert mask. And then finally let's copy and paste this layer again. And on the bottom layer, go to the X position on the transform parameter and just move the video clip over. Now we can select both of these, right click and turn it into a compound clip. And on this video clip, we need to add an effect. So let's go over to the effects and search for bump map. And if you don't have this effect, then just leave a comment below and I'll send you the free download link to it. Also leave the free download link in the description. Now we just need to add this effect onto the video clip. When you add the effect, it won't actually do anything until we've added an image into the drop zone. So that's why I kept this video from before. So if we go back to this video and click V to re-enable it and then right click and add it into a compound clip and then just press V again. And that's something I forgot to do earlier. So now if we go back to the drop zone over here, select the drop zone and select the top layer video clip that we created earlier and then just click apply clip. And now if we go up to the amount here, and turn this up to around about two and then also change the direction. You can see we start to get this invisible type effect and these settings will be different for every video clip. You kind of just have to play around with the direction and the amount. So now if I play that back, we have this pretty cool invisible looking effect. Next, I added a glitch effect to transition back to the real video. So if I split the video clip here by pressing B and on this one, I need to separate the compound clip. So to do that, just hold down a shift command G. That will open up the compound clip and then we can just delete the effects. So now that'll switch back to normal video. For the glitch effect, I used one of the glitch effects from my glitch effects pack. I've updated this pack with a bunch of new glitches. So if you already have this pack, then just download it again and you can get all of the updated effects. So if we just drag that onto the video clip, and track that to the video, we can add a glitch effect. I'm also going to add a glitch effect to the second half of the video clip and just track that to the first few frames of the video. So now we've added this glitch effect, which transitions from this invisible effect back to the normal video clip. Now moving on to this split video effect here, what I did was copy and pasted my video clip. And on this top layer, I just trimmed it down added a magnetic mask for the subject. Next, I use the XY replicator from the replicator effects pack. This plugin doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It's a really cool effects pack where we can create duplicates of the subject. So over here in the parameters, I just set the points to three and the split amount to around about 60. And if I play that back, you'll see how it splits the subject. I also added a mask low effect onto this and the high pass effect from the effects expansion pack. And then finally I had to duplicate this layer and on the top layer, I just had to delete the effects like that. And then that created this split effect. Moving on to these next effects, we have this boomerang effect with the trainers sliding in the background. So here is my raw video clip. So first thing I'm going to do is go over here and make sure it is stabilized. Next, let's go to the speed wheel here and go to video quality and make sure optical flow is selected. Next, let's go to the end of the video and add a speed ramp. So if we hold down shift and press B, it will create this speed ramp here. Now we can click and drag this slider down to speed up the first part of the video clip. Drag these tabs out so they're nice and long. 
And on the second half of the video, I want to slow this down. So we should have a quick zoom into the shoes. Now we can copy and paste the video clip by holding down option and clicking and dragging the video clip over. To get that boomerang effect, let's right click and turn it into a compound clip. And then go over here to the speed wheel and click reverse clip. And now we have this boomerang effect. To add some more effects to this, I'm going to select them both and make a copy of these. And on this top layer, I'm going to add them into a compound clip. Go to the magnetic mask effect over here and then select the subject and click analyze on the mask, then click done. Now I can copy and paste this layer and on the middle layer, I'm going to add the offset effect onto this middle layer. Next, I copied the top layer again. And on this one, I'm going to add a light ray effect. Finally, I created another layer and dragged on a light wipe effect onto the logo. Now I can select the part that I want to add this effect to. Once we have the logo highlighted, I can click analyze up here and that will track the effect to the logo. And then it's click done here. So now we also have this light wipe effect added. The reason why I'm creating new layers for new effects is just because some effects don't work when you drag them onto the video clip. So you need to create a new layer for the effect. And that's it for today's video. In the next video, I'm going through even more of these effects. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I'll leave a link to all of the effects I used in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.